guys, it is your gothic sexy queen. We're back with another lit fire sex video. With no further ado, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, don't forget to hit that post notification bell button. Also, don't forget to add Tommy on his TikTok. And don't forget to add me on all my social media links. They'll all be linked down in the description below. Soon, Pepper will have her TikTok. I'm just um, making it, making her email and stuff like that for her TikTok and stuff like that. So I'm making her login information later on today. And her TikTok will be created by my next video. And um, yeah, if you have any requests for any videos that you guys want to see me do on this channel, don't forget to comment them down below if you can't comment them down below because sometimes for some reason youtube turns off my comments you can dm me on facebook messenger instagram tiktok or snapchat um yeah and with no further ado let's cue this black shadow so i can explain to you guys what this video is going to be about hey you guys so what this video is going to be about i'm going to explain to you guys what ginger's death has taught me and um yeah, so my cat, my seven month old kitten, that was not only my kitten, he was my emotional support animal. He helped me with my depression and he helped me with my anxiety. He was helping me come out of my shell and be more social. Um, he died January 11th of 2021 of a block bladder. Um, and now I'm just very paranoid with the rest of my animals and whenever there's something wrong, I rush them to the vet. I, you know, I'm learning every day about being a cat owner. And, um, yeah, right now I'm in the bathroom with Gia. So that's where I am right now filming this video. I am keeping Gia company. So, yeah. Um, but, um, what are we going to be talking about in this video is what Ginger's stuff has taught me. That's what I'm going to talk to you guys about. Um, and, um, yeah, so let's get started. The first thing, number one, the first thing that Ginger's stuff has taught me is to live life to the fullest because you don't know when, you know, is your last day on earth. You don't know if you're going to wake up the next morning. So live the, live your life to the fullest enjoy your life another thing he has taught me number two is don't take things so damn serious um if you're going through a try uh, like a tragedy or something bad has happened in your life try to look at it as a positive perspective like try to look at your tragedy as a positive perspective like if you lose something so like if i lose my ipad i would just look at it as eh, i'll just get another one like it's not the end of the world like just because i can't get one right now because i got all these expenses to take care of i got pets and i have a house my own apartment and i have a phone bill and i have a child to take care of it doesn't mean that i can't save up and get it later so don't get all mad and i have a phone and my phone you know, think about the positive. My phone's a 512 gig. My iPad's a 256 gig. So I can store more videos on my phone than I can store on my iPad. My I, my phone has more space than my iPad. So don't get so mad. Don't don't get so pissed off. You know. Um. Another thing his Duff has taught me is to be positive about life and not always so negative um not get not to um sorry number four that was number three number four is not get mad so fast or not to get mad over small things like um if someone bumps me in the sharing station just be like eh, whatever um you know don't get mad don't start fights over small shit uh i believe that's number four number five <laughs> a lot of this is gonna sound similar but like ignore your haters which i have been doing but like ignore your haters so like if you get like a hate comment either always remember that the hate comments are in your control and how you respond to it that's in your control you could either delete the comment which most likely i do or you can respond to the comment in a positive way and what i mean by that is if someone says something negative obviously they are looking for a negative response there from you they're looking for you to get mad at them 
And usually what I do when I get negative comments, which happen um, not as often as they used to. I don't get a lot of negative comments on my TikToks as much as I used to. I usually get maybe once or one or two, maybe once a year. So about two, two negative comments once a year I get. Um, but usually when I get them, when I used to get them, I used to curse them out and be like, da, 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 da. and now when I get negative comments, I'm like, oh my God, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video and comment on it. I really appreciate your hate. It makes me a better person. And when they see that comment, they get pissed because at the end of the day, they're not getting to you the way they want to get to you. Actually, you're getting to them because you're happy on the other side of your screen. They want you to get mad. They want you to cry. They want you to crawl up in a corner and end your life because they hate you. But that's not the case here. I'm not going to let you get to me. I'm not going to let you get what you want from me anymore. I'm going to comment a positive comment back to your negative comment or I'm just going to delete your comment. That way I'm not going to give you that clout you want. So that's another thing Ginger's Def has taught me. Ginger's Def has taught me also six is to start taking care of myself. Start looking good for not only my man, but also look good for me. Um, start number seven, start doing self-love. Love yourself. So I'm going to start loving myself for me. Um, and that's why I put up a video. It's You guys are going to see that video probably before you see this video. Um, it's a my self-love journey and it's just me putting on some TikToks, dancing, having fun, ignoring my haters, being positive, just enjoying life to the fullest. That's what Ginger Steph has taught me. What I also want to say is that losing Ginger didn't make me love myself before Ginger died. I was starting to not be insecure and I was starting to love myself and I was starting my journey. But after he died, I just kind of lost myself for about a month and then I found myself again. You know, it was a tragedy and it was a really bad experience that I went through, but I bounced back and I am a better person now. I am looking at the world at, at like, I open my eyes to so much more and I am so much more open to experiences and life and just learning about life and just i'm just looking at life at a different perspective learning to love myself learning to not take life so serious learning to live my life learning to ignore my haters learning to be positive about life and if someone doesn't want to be a part of my life let them go because you're not always going to have everyone like you not everyone's gonna like you and sometimes people are gonna hate you i have people that hate me and i don't even know why they hate me i have people that don't like me and i've never did anything to them but i've learned in life that not everyone's gonna like me and sometimes it's nothing i've done sometimes it's just they just don't like me because they just don't like me and you know yeah i'm always gonna have my depression days and i'm always gonna have like my you know my days where I miss him so much. But I feel like that's normal with grieving and with losing someone. You're always, they're always going to be a part of your memories and a part of your mind. But, um, yeah. Um, so that's basically what his death has taught me. Um, uh, I still do have the flashbacks, anxiety attacks, and panic attacks, but I'm learning to live my life to the fullest because at the end of the day, Really, at the end of the day, it's your life. At the end of the day, it's my life. It's nobody else's life. And I need to learn how to live my life to the fullest. Be positive. Enjoy life. Because I don't know when it's my time to leave. And when it is my time to leave, I want to know that I lived my life to the fullest. And I was happy. And I want to leave this life leave my life on this earth happy, positive, grateful. 
And yeah, and that's what his death has taught me. To be positive, don't take anything for granted, enjoy life, love myself. Now I'm gonna be talking about some projects that I'm gonna be working on on YouTube. And um, not to mention, I do have a new cat. If you guys don't know by now, her name is Gia. And yeah, she can never replace Ginger, but she is helping me with the loss of Ginger. And she's helping me be positive with life and enjoy life to the fullest. And I'm thankful for all my cats, every week one of them. They all help me in their own little way with my anxiety and my depression. So I am gonna be working on some YouTube projects next. <clears throat> I did my first one, which was my grieving one, and that one was not planned. That one actually, start, I started filming that uh, January 15th or January 16th, I don't remember, but it was one of those days. And I just decided to blog my recovery for you guys. And it just became a project. Um, I am gonna be working on my homeless project. Um, it is gonna be two videos. I'll go more in depth in my next video. I'm gonna talk about it. I'll make a whole video about what I'm gonna do. And yeah, and um, I did get a lot of votes in for one of the videos. So one of the options, I gave two options, A and B. I'm gonna talk about that in my other video too as well. So you just have to wait. Um, and uh, yeah, um, I don't believe I have any more projects for you guys that I'm doing. I think that's my biggest one. I am going to be doing an updated um, cat routine because my last cat, cat routine was with Michaela and Ginger. And now I don't really have them here. Now it's just Gia, Pepper, Tommy, and Princess. So um, yeah, we're going to be doing a daily cat routine with that, with them. And um, yeah. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget yeah. to press the subscribe button, that like button, that post notification bell button. Don't forget to add me on all my social media links that all be linked down in the description below along with Tommy's TikTok account. And don't forget to comment any videos you guys want to see on this channel, any series that you guys want to see me do on this channel. Um, and um, yeah, if you can't comment, don't forget to DM me Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat or Facebook Messenger. All my DMs are open. Nothing's private. You guys can also DM me on my TikTok account or Tommy's TikTok account. I'm on both. Uh, just trying to make sure that he doesn't get any hate comments or anything. But um, if he does, I'm sure I'll handle it in a positive way. Uh, like yesterday, he got a hate comment and I just deleted it. Yeah. But um, yeah. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.